How do you feel, YouTubers? My name is Bob Straight, and today I'm going to show you how to remove the triangles from your STL project. As many of you may know, and probably the reason that you're here on this video, STL files are a real bitch to work with. Now, this method isn't the only way of getting rid of all those nasty triangles, but it is one of the most fastest that I have found. So what you do is you import the model, select every single vertice, hit delete, and then do a limited dissolve. You want to play around with this max angle to get exactly what you want. If you go too high, you start losing some of the mesh itself but if you bring it almost to the to the very edge usually five percent is a good number from what I have found it becomes a very neat and nice model for you to be able to model in the model space of models and I just wanted to get that part out of the way so that someone who came to this video and just said hey I want to know about like how to to do this because I'm having a serious problem they've already left the video and they're gone right so I'm gonna go more in depth on why you would want to do this instead of just like importing a file for those of you who aren't into 3d modeling at all uh, you, you I'll show you the the big difference between these two models let me go ahead and back up a little bit so this is the model that we imported right and this is the model that we exported and when you export the through STL and the reason that you would use STL in the first place is because it's a widely used platform it's used for 3d printing which is what I do a lot STL is not the best format but it is the most widely used and it is the most widely accepted as far as I know if you go to Thingiverse or anything like that every single file on there is STL and that's because it's so widely accepted as I've said but the thing about STL is that it likes to do triangles because those are easily understandable by every single computer triangle is the essence of every single model whenever something gets transferred into a game or something it's all just triangles working together in harmony but using models that have triangles in them can be awful and the main reason for that is if we go to this left one this is the original one we can hit alt and select an edge loop and that is like the the most tremendous thing if we hit control r we can go ahead and create multiple edge loops on this project which which means we can you know we can make something that looks like this you know if we select this edge loop we can bring it in a little bit and now we have a weird looking thingamajiggy a yo-yo or something like that and it, it's overall a great ability to have the words it's always great to have the ability to go ahead and slice up an object as such. It is probably the most used thing for me, especially in my 3D printing. But if you notice on this crappy model, we cannot go ahead and select the edge loop. It selects the triangle that is this edge loop or something like that. You know, if we select that, it just it's just an awful system. And being able to just select everything and then hit delete and then limited dissolve, it is the most perfect way to get rid of of mesh on a model it is fantastic and I highly suggest it to anyone who is into 3d modeling at all and want to work off of somebody else's work it makes it a lot easier to be able to edit their thing well that's all I really wanted to talk about today if you made it to the end of this fairly long video for how little information I actually gave please put the word triangle in your comment in the comment section below so that I know that you watch the video all the way to the end and are the best viewer and a subscriber ever thank you all for watching don't forget to like and subscribe really help me my channel out that is all